Hey everybody, the Rhyme Man here, coming to you with some Let's Play goodness. And it has been a very long time since I've done a game of this caliber. This is, obviously enough by the title, Persona 4. So I'm quite excited to be starting a Persona game for the second time on this channel. This is a long time coming and I think it's only appropriate because Persona 5 not only has been announced, but the actual release date is on the horizon this February for uh, everybody else outside of Japan, really. So I figure, you know, why not tackle this now while I still have time? This is unfortunately the regular version. I do not have the capability to actually um, get a PS Vita as well as the equipment to record it. So I'm going to have to bypass doing Golden in favor of doing the regular version. So I'm going to miss out on a lot of, like, extra content that I'm sure is on there, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, I do want to have a little bit of a disclaimer here. I am a little bit rusty, so hopefully you guys understand if my commentary is not up to par to where it used to be. And also, I know there's a lot of hardcore Persona fans out there, myself included. I'm a huge, huge Persona fan. But obviously enough, this is a blind run, so A, I, I am going to have to ask that you guys do not spoil me on storyline-based stuff. If I've already gotten to the point where it's shown on the Let's Play, then, you know, that's fine, discuss away. But, you know, if you're going to talk about stuff that's coming up in the future, have like a spoiler tag and then do a bunch of enters on your keyboard before you actually type it out. And just... Don't go out of your way to spoil me or and ruin the experience for me because, obviously enough, I want to experience this from start to finish as fresh as could be. Lastly, I want to emphasize the fact that, you know, I'm going to be playing this game the way that I can play it. So, you know, there's a lot of people who think that, you know, there's a perfect strategy for this and that, you know, perfect way to go for the social links, and I totally understand that, and, you know, I know that exists. But I'm not going to abide by that because, you know, I'm not going to rely on a walkthrough to do everything perfect. I want things to be imperfect if, you know, fate behooves them to be. This is my adventure. This is my journey through Persona 4. So, with that being said, let us actually get into the game. Also, I recently went to the dentist, so occasionally my jaw is kind of stinging, so... That's another reason why I might not talk as much as usual, as well as cut off some of my sentences. So, yeah. Longest disclaimer ever. So, I need to choose a difficulty level. Uh, you know, when I played Persona 3, I did start on, like, the hardest difficulty. I think it had two difficulties, normal and hard. I'm not sure what the differences are between all of these three, but... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to push my luck. I'm going to go with normal. Well, what, what will it say if I pick expert? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to pull out a good old classic. I'm going to pull out a good old classic from Persona 3 Part 1. Fuck it. I am so screwed. <laughs> I am so screwed. Oh yeah, and obviously I do not own Persona 4 or anything in this game. Everything is developed and published by Atlas, so all credit goes to them. I am just highlighting a very amazing game for them in all of its glory. So yeah, there you go. Hey, Igor. Igor. Mr. 
a big nose. Welcome to the Velvet Room. It's a limo. Volume is still low for me. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> <laughs> mm, fabulous. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. Okay. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. That's wonderful. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh... If I recall correctly, Persona 4's protagonist is named Yu Narukami. That is right, right? I hope so. <laughs> Hold on, gonna check. Okay, I made sure. You, Narukami. Reason I know this, I've watched a few Persona Q videos. And I've watched like a few clips of the anime. Few clips! Not enough to spoil my experience, that's for sure. All I know is like the na names of like the main characters and something about warping into TVs to get to where we're supposed to go. It's basically, the TVs are basically like the Tartarus of Persona 4 from what I understand, so yeah, you Narukami. Hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? I don't really believe in tarot readings, but okay. Do you believe in fortune telling? Already answered that for you, buddy. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Uh, I suppose so. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. So, following the catastrophe leads into mystery. Got it. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. Yeah, I, rec yeah, I recognized her from Persona Q. But I didn't. I couldn't remember her name for the life of me. I kept thinking of Elizabeth. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell.
Whoa. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. Yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Ooh, hey. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. From what I understand, he's way more extroverted than the protagonist from Persona 3. Like, he's more optimistic, I suppose? arrive at the Yasugami terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Miss should Mayumi we go Yama. soon? Yeah, it's just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... What the hell? Some creepy shit. Also, another reason why I really like you, Narakami. He's voiced by Johnny Young Bosch. Hell yes. I'm so excited. Hey, over here. So. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. My mother's younger brother. So, this is my uncle. Nice to meet you. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Sounds good. I'm sure it's not going to be long before shit hits the fan, so I'm just mentally preparing myself. I do have... There's like one or two characters that I know of in this game that I am just like completely head over heels for. And they're party members, so I'm so happy about that. Hi, welcome to Mole. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. Huh? huh? 
It's a weird request. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Why does that voice sound familiar? Good time is any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. This is probably going to be a social link opportunity. Oh, I should get back to work. Nanako is looking at you. Oh, shit. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. I really hope things turn out well for this guy. <laughs> Seriously. Just seems a lot of bad shit happens to characters in Persona. Or Shin Megami, Shin Megami Tensei. I'm sure I mispronounced that, I'm sure. I actually have the first game, like the remake of it on my DS. Got to a certain point, but then I just kind of raged out. <laughs> All right. Let's have a toast. Let's just say I probably misplaced so my time. Your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. And then she's Maxim. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah? I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Really? You just picked me up. Can't we have a nice family meal? Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Later, Pops. Wait. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. Wait, so if Nanako and Dejima have lived by themselves all this time and he's going out like this, you know, <clears throat> like on a whim whenever he gets an important phone call, does that mean he leaves her home by, her, by herself? That's not exactly the greatest parenting in the world. I would at least get a babysitter. With storm clouds moving in from the west, Expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. 
It's not good. Let's eat. Oh, okay. Well, that would explain why he just goes out on a whim. Just investigating crimes. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary, Taro Namatame, is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. Ooh, scandal. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. Kind of is. Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Ooh, mall. Is it going to be like the mall that we get to visit in Persona 3? Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Aw, so cute. Aren't you going to eat? Sorry, that was adorable. You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Okay. This, right? Now, the only thing I know is that, like in terms of the game itself, the only thing I was warned about when jumping into Persona 4 for the first time is to make sure I have multiple save files, like going down the line because apparently there's the possibility of like choice making that could impact things so i gotta be careful uh, some fried rice sure nom 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 has no taste at all strange You have some ingredients you can make lunch for tomorrow. Oh, um, Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. All right. So, rainy day pretty much through the weekend, or through the week. It's going to be a storm in these coming days. Should be good on Sunday. Got it. This is the room you're borrowing from the Jima. There, there's a shelf. There's nothing new on the shelf. Uh, so I could sleep. Well, they're not giving me any choice but to sleep, so... You may have a good dream, or you might have a nightmare. Wonderful. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. <laughs> 